botched backstreet abortions continue to endanger women and young girls in Kenya. Madaktari wakaniambia ile dawa nilitumia niliharibu kizazi. Yes but I'm totally dead. And sometimes the consequences are fatal. But the issue of abortion remains a contentious one in the country. Even that baby who is in that mother has a right. Your right starts when mine ends. Tumeweza kupata watoto watatu wametupwa kwa mto. Where you need to save the life of the mother, if the unintended consequence is the death of the child, that cannot be treated as an offence. The clamour and the calls by civil society have not been to legalise abortion, but to implement the law as is. This is a story about the risks that some women and young girls in the reproductive ages across Kenya are taking, including turning to quack doctors, promising quick fix abortions. We've buried over 30 plus fetuses here. Eh anaingiza kwa kapa ipo ndani ya tumbo na nakaa kama mwenye anadunga kitu fulani hapo ndani inatoka ile nyumba ya mtoto inapasuka akanambia yeye anaweza nitoa bone lakini ni labda tu ni dozi na yeye Tunahitaji tuelemishe watoto wetu. Amesema vizuri kusunguza kwa niapa ya wale watoto ambao wangali wako. Uh, tumepoteza msichana ambaye angebadilisha mji huu. Tumepoteza msichana Wilkista ambaye... Adisa, 17, was six months pregnant when she lost her life after a forced abortion instigated by her father. Nearly eight months after Adisa's untimely death, her mother recounts the events that followed her daughter's burial. I came to my house because of my mother's death. My mother told me that I was a child. Mother, I got a dam. I told her that I got a dam. I told her that I got a dam. I told her that I got a dam. The boy's family had agreed to take responsibility of the pregnancy, but Adisa's father would hear none of that. Akakata, akasema iyo stack, iyo store stack. Uluko na unenda uko upata mali ama chai na mukato kunyo. Wewe manamuke ne mchinga san. Mimi nataka azara. Ato ningechua singa kuwa wewe. Ne kambi ya meangu sasa stack kichana bas. Wajana na msichana yangu sitaki kichana ndiye alifanya hii mako makosa. Msa yangu alikata akanipika kwa nyumba akaniambia mimi nataka hasara. He will take her away under the guise of taking her for a walk. Little did Martha know that that would be the last time she would see her daughter alive. Mtoto sasa alienda na papa yake Jumatatu tarehe 16. Jumatatu. Tibiri chitaru. Jine ndiye anavuta na mtoto anania ananiachia kwa mlango kama ameyaka anakuja na huyo takitari na yeye na ndreva The men Martha speaks of are her husband and the quack doctor responsible for Adisa's death She claims after she refused to forgive her husband her in-laws sent her away Today both her husband and the quack doctor are out on bond Bila nilisika tu mtoto wangu mwezi wa tisa, wiki ya kwanza. Mama ilikuwa taratano mwezi wa kumi, ndiye nilikucha hapa. Na bila nilikucha hapa, na ya katolewa, na bondi. Sasa uye tapitari salipeana pesa. Haka peana shiringi tamanini na na? Na na. Haka achiliwa bondi ya hii, ya inja. Na uye wangu, alikuwa anaki kitu. Wakachukua namba ya shamba, wakapeleka huko. Adisa's case is still in court. Martha wants nothing to do with her husband. Uyo paka afungu, maisha. Nataka mtoto, mtoto wangu pata na nichuna bwa. 
Mam mtoto analichuna bwana. Eh? Awacha niita. Lakini wakiniita. Ita nitaambia serikali nataka nauliza papa huyu mme yangu nataka mtoto. Ndio tu. Attempts to reach the quack doctor were futile. Nikona naomba kuongelesha mzee yuko. Mzee. Eh. But his wife claims that he has turned over a new leaf and is no longer in that line of work. Watoto wataka kusikia hiyo maneno. Walimkataza bila alikuwa huko. Hata mzee mzee mwenyewe aliwaje hiyo maneno. According to a report by the Center for Reproductive Rights, an estimated 2600 women and girls die annually in Kenya, amounting to seven deaths every day from complications related to unsafe abortions. Abortion is a termination of pregnancy. It can be in two parts. It could be spontaneous, which uh, from layman's point of view is called a miscarriage, or it could be induced. And induced means that somebody has done something to terminate that pregnancy. And all those have got their own main complications and uh, effects in the society. And then when you talk about uh, the induced ones or even some of the spontaneous ones you may end up with complications a study from the ministry of health revealed that an estimated 465000 induced abortions occurred in kenya in 2012 the victims of back street abortions more often than not end up with life altering complications in kakamega county janet not her real name is paying a heavy price for undergoing an unsafe abortion. Kipata mtoto wa kwanza 205. Na mzee nyumbani alikuwa mkali sana sana. Kawa niko sawa. Tena 2007. Bye bad luck nikapata mimba ingine. Hasa ile harakati ya kukaa na mabeshte, marafiki. Nikapata mama mwingine hapo ila kani direct. Kaniambia hako na mama mwingine mahali anajua ku kufanya hii miba lazima tu itoke na anatumia atanipea madawa ya kienyeji akanipea dawa tu chupa moja hii chupa ya maji kukunywa kurudi nyumbani Nili, nilianza ku bleed vibaya damu ilimwagika mingi 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 mpaka nikajikuta nimepoteza fahamu hata vile nilibeba nikipelekwa usi sikujua sasa tangu hiyo 207 nikawa tu nyumbani, 28 nikawa nyumbani, 29 ndio nilipata bwana. Nikaenda kuolewa. Bila tulianza kukaa na huyo mzee mpaka wa leo, sijaipata mto mtoto. Huyo bwana akanishughulikia twende hospitali tujue shida iko wapi, nini nini. Madaktari wakaniambia ile dawa nilitumia iliniharibu kizazi. Siwezi pata mtoto te. Janet's inability to give birth has been a pain in her marriage over the years. Eh ukishapata nyumba ama ukishapata bwana unajua kitu ya kwanza anataka anga umzalie mtoto. Sasa mkikaa miezi kadhaa anaona uko hivyo hivyo. Mwaka ndio hii naisha uko hivyo hivyo. Mpaka hata hakuna amani kwa nyumba. Mna korofishana mpaka anakuambia uende nyumbani. Sasa kwa vile umaamua unataka kukaa itabidi tu ukae kwa lazima lakini amuko in peace in a different area in Kakamega Julia not her real name narrates her near death experience at the hands of a quack kufika form 4 nika zikuta niko na ball na nika shindo vile nitaambia wazazi nikarudi kwa marafiki zangu na tulikuwa nao nikaambia niko hivi nitafanya aje kila mtu alikuwa anapita na advice yake na mmoja kaniambia oh sijichukua majani chai ukoroge kwa maji ukunywe hakuna kitu ilifanyika mwingine kaniambia oh sijichukua juice e, ukunye undiluted ukunye yote ile ya afalita ukunye yote nikakunywa hakuna kitu ilifanyika so mwingine kaniambia nikichukue magadi soda niki kwa maji nikunye nikakunywa hiyo magadi soda hakuna um, kitu ilifanyike liba kitu tumbo kuuma na kuchoma tu kama moto after the failed attempts a friend took her to a quack doctor in her village little did she know what she was walking into 
hapa uh, niambia sasa mimi sipotengi mtu dawa mimi ufanye tu mara moja na hiyo mimba itatoka akashika kaniambia hii mimba hata si ya miezi tatu ni miezi nne sasa hizi ni vile ujui nikamwambia ni sawa so akaniambia nilale chini kwa kichwa katu fulani akatandika leso hapo chini so yeye kwa anatembea na kawaya kingine fulani yeye uto wako kawaya anaingiza kwa pipe ndani kuna kwa pipe kingine hivi ka plastic tu inaingiza ndani then anakuambia ulale chini nikaa tu mtu wa kuzalishwa hivyo yeye anaingiza kwa kwa pipe ndani ya tumbo ana ana anaka kama ni ana dunga kitu fulani hapo ndani inatoka ile nyumba ya mtoto inapasuka sasa ikipasuka hivyo hiyo maji na mabika na kondusi mami akiona hiyo maji maanza kumwagika yani anajaribu jaribu mpaka vile atafanya nini atapasua hiyo nyumba ikipasua hiyo nyumba ikishapasuka anakwambia kiona maji anakwambia usimame U, usimame hivi mpaka hiyo maji imwagike ishe kufika usiku saa mbili na naanza kusikia uchungu naumwa 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 sasa so, kidogo damu kaanza kumwagika kidogo hiyo kitu ikatoka ta nimeumwa nimesikia uchungu sasa hiyo unavumilia kwa rundi utaki wazazi wajue nimeshindwa kabisa juu ya ile ku bleed ime bleed nime bleed karibu besheni mzima so ni nikashindwa siku jua ni nini niliendelea next day next day nilijipata hospitali Julia may have survived the jarring ordeal but to date she lives with scars that may never heal completely complications nili develop uh, at a doctor who can be a kwamba ni kwa careful ni si tumie tumie dawa zote kabla ya daktari juu wewe nafika mahali hata nikipata period si zangu wana kwa na tough time sana na sikia uchungu sana sana e, lazima niko na dawa kama baskopan nitumie ivo e ndio ipo ndio ipo nilichukia sana history ya abortion especially vitu za kienyeji sikuwa itaka tena mwenzangu apitie vitu kama hizo ama terafiki yangu apitie kitu kama hiyo ndio ni kitu mbaya inaweza kupoteza maisha yako ju kama kweli wazazi wangu wangekuja kwa room yangu kuniona ningekufa mm. after mimi kufanywa hizo vitu urafiki yangu wa kuchoka kupeleka huko watu alipeleka msichana mwingine huko akafanywa na akakufa pia mm. na filimba sana juu kama ningejua utafikia yangu anaenda kufanywa kitu kama hiyo singekubali apoteze maisha yake mtu ni kitu hatari sana akanembia yale za nitoa ball lakini labda tu ni dozi na yeye anaitwa Dodok anaitwa Ben we buried over 30 plus fetus is here kamutai nikamtoa halafu nikamtoa mpaka na mapoa na mtoa mwenyewe that unplanned pregnancy is not a medical problem hi my name is john alan namu i'm the co-founder here at africa uncensored we are the ones behind the video that you've just watched thank you for watching that so far and to complete watching this video head on over to shahara our new content platform You can get the link to Shahara in the description below. Now, that's why I'm here today to explain what Shahara is. It's a content platform that we created alongside our partners, the Catapult Agency and Baraza Media Lab to give content creators across Africa a chance to interact with you by you endorsing their work. Content creators from across the continent we expect will be uploading their content onto Shahara and get you to pay for it on a pay-per-view basis all very reasonably priced i'm sure and rather than just talk about it we wanted to be about it and we've endorsed that platform by putting all of our content and starting to move our content onto that platform of course if you've been a loyal supporter of our work and a subscriber here on youtube we're not going to leave you high and dry we will still be posting some of our work here but for now we'd like for you to try shahara 
and see what the experience is like and support local and continental content creators.